John and Margaret were actually from Scotland, so the cats have a bag. I probably won't be mentioning that again. As time went on, John and Margaret had 16 children together, one of which would take over as the next master distiller by 1804. And this man is John Jameson II. John II, he built on the legacy left to him by his parents. And by 1820, the distillery covers five acres of land and looked like this. Between 1880 up until about 1910, Irish whiskey was the most popular whiskey in the world. And during those years, Ireland and Dublin specifically had some of the biggest and most active distilleries in the world. A of different areas. Try not to touch anything now. I'll explain all this now over the next few minutes. What we're going to do is have a look at the individual parts of the Jemison whiskey. We start to break it down into the key components. So the DNA of whiskey in the world is a combination of a type of a spirit art and science as well. The guys down in Middleton, where the distillery is located in Cork, they start off by sourcing ingredients to produce our whiskies. Now the first key ingredient that we need is a clean supply of water. The word whiskey itself, or whiskey as we know it, So we've just done a tour together. So uh, what we'll do, we'll head out. First off, I'll give you a little bit of uh, like extra information. Okay? So I don't know if anyone has shown you this one. See the, uh, the beams that run across here? They're all the original beams. Because obviously this building's from 1780. So what they wanted to do is to keep a lot of the history here. You know what I mean? But still obviously build on it. So that's right. why they kept the beams. And you see underneath, you see down there the vats? Yeah. Yes. They're the yeah, they're That's how they used to mix, you know, in the last tour I was saying unmalted and malted barley. Mix them all together down here. And then the last little bit, see that little guy up there? That's the cat. See him? That's the yeah, cat yeah, that yeah. used to hunt the mice. <laughs> nice. So you know what age he is. So if you want to follow me, guys. We're gonna go down the trap door. We're gonna go down the trap door into the office. <laughs> right, so John and Mark, right? So you're very close there, it's 16 kids. Like obviously, you know what I mean? We didn't have enough room for our pictures of every single fucking kid. Are you one of them? I'm one of the kids, yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm John James' brain. We're gonna head down. So this is John Jameson's office that we're gonna go down to. So it's actually his official office that he used. Smell. Yeah, this was his office, so it's the actual official office. So a lot of these were kept, a lot of these kind of artifacts. Yeah, wish you know. You know what? That's exactly one of the whiskies you will be getting, and it's a strong one as well. What is one? It's like it's the black barrel. You feel it so you'll get to oh, try it. So it worked oh, out shit. perfectly. Yeah, that's what I went over. Very good. You were guessing all in the last room. So what we're going to do, I'll give you, first off, I'll give you a little bit of the history of the place, okay? So I was telling you outside, it was established in 1780, right? So all together, there was six generations of the Jameson family who passed through here, right? So six generations passed through. As well as the Jameson family, there was lots of other kind of crafts people. So it would have been always a really busy place, right? So we have an archivist, her name is Carol. So she was able to go back over the archives. She went through all the archives and she told us that by around the time of 1880, we had about 300 staff people, right? So, and the people actually used to come from outside the city. They used to sit at the walls, because the walls were so hot in this place, from the distilling that was going on, the homeless people used to sit outside. So that's a bit of the history. And it's actually, it's an interesting fact as well. You see the color scheme on the bottle. That actually comes from this building. So if you see the side doors, the stained glass are, is this color scheme. So the bottles come from this. So what we're going to do is we're going to try four different whiskies. All right. So they're all Jameson whiskies. Two of them you can only get in this building. Right. The last thing you can only get in this building. So what we're going to do? I'll give you a quick breakdown of how we make our whiskey, just because it will give you, it will help you as we go through the taste. 
So these whiskies are all blended whiskies. Right? So, do, so a blend is just another way of saying a mixture. Right? So we use three types of blends. The first type of blend we use, so the whiskey we make is from barley. Okay, that's the main crop that's in it. 70% of it, now you'll remember some of this from, from the last tour, 70% of it is unmalted. Right, so that gives, when we drink the whiskey, they're all going to be very spicy. That's the unmalted part. And then the other 30% is malted. So it's going to be spicy, but it's also going to be sweet, like a kind of a cereal sweetness. That's our first blend, first mixture. Okay? The second type of blend is when we have the spirit, when we have the, this barley, we're going to distill it. It's like a beer at this stage, so we're going to distill it two different ways. See the pots when you came in? The big pot? Yeah. That's pot still whiskey. Okay, it's very traditionally Irish, full of flavour and fruits and spices, and it takes a long time to distill whiskey this way. So it's distilled like that. And then it's also distilled using columns. This makes grain whiskey. So if you can imagine that the pot still whiskey, it's old school, you're going to get really spicy flavours. The grain whiskey, it's a lot more of a new school way of making it. The reason they use it is because it's a lot quicker and you can leave it, it's automatic. Okay, so, but the whiskey that you get from it is not that full body, it's pretty light, it's going to be like vodka, right? That kind of tonalities. Then what we're going to do is we're going to mix those together, that's the second type of blend. Now when we have this then, the third type of blend mixture is the barrels. So we use two types of barrels, bourbon barrels we get from Kentucky, sherry barrels we get from Spain. So when you put this liquid that you have distilled into the bourbon barrel, it's going to be very sweet, like vanilla, that kind of flavour. And when you put it in the sherry, it's going to be nuts and figs, things like that. We mix them together, right? So they're the three types of blend. So these whiskies are all blended whiskies, right? So, and they experiment with different, like it's not going to always be the same. It's not always going to be 70% unmalted, 30% malted. They experiment, and that's how we come up with our different styles of whiskies, you know, some will have more of a malted barley, some will be in a bourbon barrel for longer, some will have more pot still. It's a, it, they experiment a lot of the time, okay? So it's a real art form to blending. So the whiskies, Jameson Original, okay? We've got Jameson Crested, Jameson Distillery Edition, and Jameson Black Barrel. So as we go through as well, I'll keep showing you the bottles. And don't worry about like, you know, finish, you can always, be as, drink them as quickly or as slowly as you like and bring them out with you. And I'll give you a couple of minutes, 10, 15 minutes at the end, you can ask any questions or anything like that. So.